Howdy class of 2020. You didn't sign up for this. You didn't sign up for the end of your high school career, finishing with losing the daily interaction with your friends and teachers, missing your spring activities, and spending way too much time learning in front of a screen. You didn't sign up for it, but by God's grace, you dealt with it and you overcame it with the resolve and the resilience that he gave you. You could say that you conquered these difficult circumstances of distance learning in the fourth quarter. Rather than being resentful of what you lost, I encourage you to be thankful for the blessings and the important life lessons that God gave you through this experience. Remember that God is good all the time. I'd like to leave you with one of my favorite Bible verses, Romans 8 verse 37. In all these things, we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. Way more important than conquering distance learning in the fourth quarter at GPL, with God, you are a conqueror of sin and death. Jesus' victory is your victory. Know this. Live this. Share this. Have a great day serving Jesus. God be with you. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will make your path straight. Proverbs 3, verses 5 and 6. Trust that the Lord is with you every step you take in your life. That means you can take everything to the Lord, your worries, problems, fears, whatever is bothering you at the time. Rely on him for the strength, guidance, and comfort only he can give you. You are not alone. Not only does the gracious Lord God walk with you to advise and help you and make all things work for your good, you also have your parents, other family, and friends around you to help and give you advice. And while you may not be in the halls of GPL like before, your teachers will continue to be a go-to source for whatever support you may need. School as you have known it for the last four years is over. The future is unknown by you. What will school be like next year? What will the military be like? What kind of job might I get? Have no worry, but trust because the Lord knows everything that is going to happen in your life. He holds you in his gracious, loving hands. Take what you have learned here at GPL and apply that knowledge to your future plans. Class of 2020, remember to trust in the Lord with all your heart throughout your lives. Acknowledge him. Thank him for his goodness. God's richest blessings to you all. Congratulations, Class of 2020. You did it. You graduated. You have now earned for yourself a really cool diploma from Great Plains Lutheran High School. It means you've really done super awesome. You did a great job at school and you've got some really cool education. Uh, remember though that the greatest education you can get with what you also received at Great Plains is this from God's Word. Uh, it's education for eternity and it's your fuel to help you and to strengthen you to run the race marked out for you that Jesus has already placed you on. Remember, he's running with you. Continue to be faithful to him. Stay in his word. Stay connected to Jesus. And again, you know that the Lord will bless you the entire way. So God's blessings to you, 2020 graduates. May God bless you and continue to be with you all the days of your life. Hey, seniors. In doing this project, I'm reminded of our time in junior religion class. And we were preparing for a day like today and for your futures beyond GPL. Uh, today, I would like to encourage you with this message. Remember who you are. Remember the things that make you you. You're exactly the way that God wanted you to be, from your personality to your personal characteristics, and what a blessing that is. But of course, the greatest blessing is that we are redeemed children of God, and that is the greatest status that anyone can accomplish in their life. You know that you are going into an era of your life that is statistically the most challenging to be involved in religion. Many of your peers will either turn away from God or stay away from God. Far too often I see young adult Christians who abandon who they are for the sake of fun, popularity, acceptance by others, or relationships. So my encouragement for you today is to remember who you are, you are a dearly loved child of God. You mean so much to God that he died for you. 
by God's grace, your time at GPL has taught you who you are. So class of 2020, God's richest blessings to you. And remember who you are. Don't know if you can read the screen behind me, guys, but it's my screensaver. You know, I picked that screensaver for myself. I also picked it for you guys. Be still and know that I am God. Um, I remember when I was your age and I was graduating from high school, I had no clue what I was going to do. Maybe some of you find yourself in that same situation. Um, let God handle it. You don't have to handle things in your life. Um, don't try to solve problems yourself when you have a God that's there to help you. Be still and know that I'm God would be something that I would uh, encourage you to remember throughout your lifetime. Uh, let him help you through every phase of your life. God's blessings, you guys. Take care. Hi, seniors. I wish we could be there for you on your big day and all the big days that you missed, like prom and kaleidoscope and everything like that. I am so sorry, but you're going to be bigger people for having to go through this. Let's say that. Um, I'm, I'm holding show up, which I think is a piece of wisdom for everybody at any age, not just you. Show up for people. Show up to the funeral. Show up to the wedding. Show up by asking your friends and family if they need help. If you go to school next year, show up. You know, <laughs> um, don't skip classes. If you go to work next year, show up. Um, for your family and friends, show up and show them that you care. Reach out. Ask if they need help. Send an email, send a text, give a call to the old people, do what you need to do. And finally, of course, show up to church. As long as your church is preaching Christ crucified as the way to heaven, you show up and be a part of that church and make it stronger. Blessings to you, seniors. Hi, seniors. This is Mr. Kleinke and Dexter, and we just wanted to say congratulations on your graduation. We're really proud of all the work that you guys have accomplished these last four years and look forward to seeing where you're going and what you're going to do with your future. So with that, I have some encouragement from Proverbs 3 verse 6 or 5 to 6 that says, trust in the Lord with all your heart and rely not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will make your path straight. God already knows what's going to happen in the future for you. You are just starting to figure some of that out. Trust in him. Pray to him. Rely on him. He's got it all worked out for you. Uh, the future is kind of a little bit scary, especially right now with what's going on. We don't know what's going to happen. So my encouragement, always rely on your God for everything you need. Trust in him. He's going to take care of you. Uh, God's blessings on your future regardless of where you go or what you do. Uh, really look forward to seeing what you guys are going to do in the future. Congratulations. Class of 2020, whether I had the privilege of teaching you for one year or many of you for four years, thank you for many great memories that I will be able to carry with me throughout my life. As I think of a parting thought, I think stay connected. Stay connected first and foremost to Jesus in worship attend Bible study and look for opportunities to serve your home congregation. Stay in the word and be encouraged by it. Stay connected to your classmates as you go on into the workforce, into the military or into higher education. Encourage one another. Stay connected to your GPL family. Remember the teachers here, pray for us. Pray for the ministry at Great Plains Lutheran High School that we might continue to serve many generations to come. Thank you, class of 2020. It has been a blessing to know every single one of you and God's richest blessings to you in your future. Hi, seniors. Two quick things I wanna say. First, goodbye. It's been a great four years we've had together. And as we go our separate ways, I ask God to keep us all faithful to our Savior Jesus so we can be sure to see each other again someday. Thanks for the memories. It's been a privilege to know each one of you. And second, never be cruel, never be cowardly, never give up, never give in. Remember, hate is always foolish. Love is always wise. Always try to be nice, but never fail 
to be kind. Adios. Hey seniors, congratulations on your graduation. We are all so proud of you and how far you've come to reach this accomplishment, even with the unforeseen challenges that the end of the year brought. Although it was not an ideal way to end your time at Great Plains, it will sure be one to remember. As you go on to an exciting and unknown future, take pride in how far you've come and have faith in how far you can go with the one who can truly get you there. So never forget that your savior is by your side. He will never leave you or forsake you. I'll leave you with some of my favorite words of Paul from Philippians chapter one. I thank my God every time I remember you. In all my prayers for all of you, I always pray with joy because of your partnership in the gospel from the first day until now. Being confident of this, that he who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. God's richest blessings to all of you. Congratulations. Hello, class of 2020. Congratulations on making this far. My thought for you today is one that you probably learned pretty well, but things don't always go the way we planned, right? I think this year has been a great example of that. But the advice I give you is to don't despair about that. Rather, rejoice. One of my favorite passages in the Bible is Jeremiah 29, 11, where God tells us that he has a plan for us, plans to prosper us and not to harm us, plans to give us a hope and a future. So when things don't go the way that we planned, instead of being upset or worried about it, rejoice. Because what that means is God's got a better plan in mind. God bless. Hey guys, congratulations. You did it. I'm proud of you. Um, my word of advice today is uh, to never stop asking. Um, just never feel like you're going through any of this alone. And always remember uh, those people that are there ready, able to help you. All your teachers at Great Plains or any other school you went to, um, I think I can speak for them and say you can come to us anytime. Anytime you want to talk, anytime you have a question, anytime you need advice, um, come and ask. And uh, then of course, most importantly, you're never alone in this because God's always there with you. Uh, he says cast all your anxieties on, on Him because He cares for you, and He does. Um, so pray. Pray, continue to pray and, and ask for help um, because you aren't going through uh, this alone. And um, God's always there with you and you'll always have people around you to help you as well. So congratulations again, seniors. Um, I'm excited to see uh, where all of you go and what you do. Seniors, I just wanna wish you a congratulations on graduating here from GPL. This is one small step in, in your journey throughout life and I know you all have so many bright futures ahead of you. My wisdom talk for you, I have this verse up over here, be strong and courageous. There's gonna be a lot that's gonna be happening with life coming for you guys. Some of you are gonna stay in town and go LATI. Some of you are going to, going to move, you know, maybe in state. Some of you are gonna move outside of the state. Some of you might join the military. But what wisdom talk for you is be strong and courageous. You've had this amazing faith and you have this pleasure of being at GPL for the last four years, three years, two years, even if you've only been here for one year. Be strong and courageous. Don't ever forget what God has done for you. Sending Jesus to live a perfect life and die so you may spend forever with him in heaven. So although we, you are going through many tough times now, be strong and courageous in the Lord. God's blessings to you. Congratulations, seniors. It's crazy to think that our year is coming to a close already. And more importantly for you, your senior year is coming to a close as well. Especially given these unpredictable circumstances, it's hard to believe that this time has finally come. Today, I wanna to leave you with two things. The first is an overwhelmingly big thank you. Thank you for letting me be a part of your senior year, whether that was inside class or out of class, you truly made my first year as a teacher wonderful. The second thing is just an encouragement. As we all move forward in our future plans, whatever your path may look like post GPL, if you are ever unsure of the future or anxious about what you're going to do next, 
Remember that there's somebody greater than you that has had your future planned since before you were born. And of course, that's our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So I want to leave you just with a little um, passage here that will remind you of that hope as you move forward. It comes from Jeremiah 29, 11. I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Congratulations and blessings on your future seniors. Thank you for this opportunity to send you off with these encouraging messages. Again, class of 2020, we're so proud of you. Congratulations. We wish you God's blessings on all your future endeavors. Don't be strangers at GPL. We look forward to seeing you around. Take care and God bless.